Do you hear that guys? 007 Agent Skills are back in town. That can only mean one thing. We're unboxing the 007 Secret Agent Briefcase of Doom. I'm just kidding, there's no Secret Agent 007 skills, but there is a briefcase and it is Pokemon related. It is so sick. I know what they're doing, but like every sort of year now, they release this like really cool looking tin and it's so gangster. Oh my gosh. The stuff inside, it's ridiculous. I can't wait to show you guys. Like the promo cards, holy mama. I've been waiting for this for ages. And then the boosters, I've heard good things about. On the front though, Volcanion, Magina. It's a space sort of theme. I don't know. We've been getting that all year, so it's pretty cool. Briefcase itself looks sick. Look at the color scheme. It goes into like a purpley thing, right? And then, shiny Mega Gengar. It looks so sick. I love that Pokemon so much. And the way they've done him here, it's so dope. I love it. Then we've got all the energy cards here. The Magical Barco to Doom. Got to make sure that thing doesn't hypnotize you too much. And then we just got like Nagina and Volcanion again. All the usual stuff, but let's get the seal of approval off. And see what's inside of the massive tin. I think it's like, I don't know. Last year was more of a stationary thing. So we got like pens, pencils, notepads, all that jazz. Put this to the side. What are we going to get Ooh, this year? Let's try to, uh, oh, try to show you guys. Initial reaction right here. Open it up. Oh, yo, these aren't even sleeves. Oh, man. All right. Got these uh, promo cards. I'll show you guys in a second. A bunch of boosters. And then looks like pens and pencils. So we still get a bunch of stationery. All right, let me uh, sort this out and I'll get back to you. So pretty much besides all the TCG stuff, like the cards, the promos and all that, the boosters, you get your own mini binder with uh, Magina and Volcanion on it. You get four flipping like shiny Gengar pencils. And I mean, who doesn't want shiny Gengar pencils? Yay! Then you also get two different sticker sheets with the uh, same um, like imagery that was on the back of the uh, tin there. Obviously, you get the briefcase. What would you put in the briefcase? Leave a comment in the comment section below. I have no idea. And then you also get this absolutely insane notepad. Like, that's where the Amazon forest is going. Check that thing out. And uh, yeah, that's all the extra stuff. But then you also get the cards. Arceus, i like to thank you so much for doing this. I know everyone's been where everyone is always tweeting me and everyone's always going back to that one video where I unboxed the Shiny Mega Gengar EX card in Japanese. Like that's probably, I know it's got like a million views. It was the most insane video of all time. And then we heard nothing. It never got released in English. We never heard anything until now. Inside the tin, one promo holo, Volcanion, Magina serving tea, which is a pretty cool artwork, but then... Oh, Nelly, it's here, it's flipping here, Mega Gengar EX promo card. It is just ins- I don't have any words, I don't know what to say, it's just the most insane card of all time, and I love it so much. The artwork, the way it's designed, it's like got all the jelly beans sort of flying out. But it's super rare nowadays that you find a card that you wouldn't like slightly improve. This is just one card that works so well. The colour scheme, like the white on the purple and then the jelly beans, just everything moulds so well together. And Mega Gengar is such a cool Pokemon. It's so different to its like actual Gengar form. Yeah, works super duper well. So glad it's finally a like, promo card. And it's so random it's in this tin. But I'll take it. It's already a must pick up. The promo, the tins, the goods, the flipping other promos, the codes. It's insane. But... It is my job, fellas, to go through the most random set of but look, look at this. Steam Siege, Ancient Origins, Phantom, Flipping Forces, and then you got like a two evolution packs. I don't know. I don't even question it. It's a thing. Well, I guess we'll start off with the Steam Siege. Go through there. I don't know. I can't remember what the pulls were in like the last sort of... Oh gosh, that's absolutely destroyed. I can't remember what the pulls were in the last sort of tins. I reckon they're right. Maybe... I think the very first tin that we ever opened, we got absolutely nothing. Like, it was just one or two hollows. But now the hollows are sort of slipping away. They're not becoming a front and center thing. I've got a good feeling. We might be able to get something crazy. All right, captivating Pokepuff. Holuncha, my absolute man. We're going to need a ran. Fungus. A Mankey. Clink as well with the artwork. Such a throwback Thursday. Mantine. Oh! Bro! Very first pack, we managed to pull a Hydreigon break card. This is such a throwback Thursday. Definitely leave a comment in the comment section below. What do you think of this bad boy? That's nuts. Hydreigon flipping break card on the very first booster. And look at the purple electricity just like streaming out of him. 
Oh my gosh, that attack, 150 damage, 90 HP, and then a oh, Bastiodon on for the uh, regular rare. You know, the original break cards, so chilled. I, like, you just forget, you forget how sick, like, Pokemon cards are, and then you get them again, like, an old school set, like a box like this, and it's so gangster. But yo, Hydreigon break, the very first pack. This tin is nuts, like, it's, oh man, I can't get over it. It's already a must buy. I'm not 100% sure on the price because I did get it from America and you know the price is all skew with, but even if I'd, I'd say it to be like, I don't know, maybe 60 bucks, it's probably worth chucking it on the Christmas list. We've got Ralts, we've got, oh, Half Arts of Back Boys, Baltoy, a Cottony, Relicanth, oh, Reverse Faded Town, followed up by a Holo flipping Vokoroid, no way! A Holo straight after a flipping yard break card. Yo, that's nuts, that never happens. All right, I'll take it, put that one in the back. Can we do the flipping hat trick? Phantom Forces, you absolute menace. This is the set with all the Gengars in it, I reckon. So if we can pull like the original Mega Gengar or something, that'd be crazy. I can't remember the last hat trick we pulled. It's been a while. Swing it right round. All right, we're gonna Enhanced Hammer, Special Energy, a Klefki, Gligar, D-Denny, Alamunda, Totodile, a Frillish, Reverse Blitzy, followed up by... Oh! Yo! Holy flipping moly! Dude, that doesn't happen! It does... Bro! You saw that, I opened those boosters 100% normal, and then we go and pull a regular Mega Gengar EX straight after... The Mega Gengar EX, uh, the shiny. What the heck? And it's a hat trick. That was a legitimate hat trick. We've just gone and pulled bang, bang, bang. Evolutions is next, and we still need a bunch of EX cards, so things are looking good. And even the regular reds being basic cards, that's bonkers. Phantom Gate is the attack. Mega Gengar EX. Can we go for the quadruple? The quattro. Raichu pack right now. Yo! Is everyone, who else has opened this tin up and what sort of pulls do you get? Like surely this is a a super rare thing. Oh, I love this set so much. The good old basic cards to greet you as soon as you open the pack. Three from the back. Oh, yo, what if we, oh, what if we pull the basic Charizard? Don't even put that thought in my mind. Charmeleon, Kakuna, Coughing, Weedle, Magikarp, Dark Energy, Vulpix, Nidoran, Reverse Drowsy, followed up by... Regular Rare Farfetch, the good old Japanese exclusive in Pokemon Go. But guys, we didn't get the Quattro. Let's go for four. Crazy pulls out of five boosters. That'd still be nuts. It's a Blast Toys pack. I reckon we can do it. Mega Blast Toys Fallout card. Let's go to Gold Town. Put that one to the side. And what are you guys getting in the codes? Just let me know in the comment section below. Get me nice and depressed. Tell me you're getting that basic Charizard. Oh, Kakuna, Charizard Spirit Link, Double Colorless, Flangy, a Vulpix, Tangler, Machop, Weedle, a Reverse Onyx, followed up by... Oh! Yo! It's the flipping Mega Blast Toys EX! Oh! 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 Guys! That may be the most... Oh my gosh, that may be the most beautiful card that I've ever seen in my entire life. And I'm not playing it, like, 100%. What even is this? This flipping tin is nuts. Everybody go buy it. I don't care what your excuse is. If you haven't got it, please go buy it. I have just pulled a full-up Mega Blast Toys EX out of Evolutions. The gold border, the secret rare. Nah, it's still in the set. This has to be like one of the greatest tin openings of all time. Surely, like, no, you can't top this. Getting like one of the rarest cards in Evolutions after the normal Mega Gengar, after the shiny promo Gengar, after the Break Hydreigon, after the Holo, after the two promo Holos as well. Like, you can't ask for a better tin. That card, I could look at that for days. The texture on this thing is nuts. Yo, let's have a recap right now. But. I don't, sorry, I, I'm still trying to comprehend what exactly happened, but I have no idea. Mega Gengar EX normal, shiny Mega Gengar EX, Volcarona flipping yard, what is it, holo card, Hydreigon break card, 
and then Mega Blast Wizzy X for luck card with the gold border. Definitely leave a comment in the comment section below. Have you opened this tin? I'm super curious to know. Most of you guys have a fantastic day. Make sure you buy the tin and keep on gaming. Whew, until next time, I'll see you then. Holy mother duck. <laughs>